Well, here they are, accessories. Let's get home, let's open them up. <clears throat> Professional packing, good eBay style. Right, there they are. Nothing too wild. I don't think they come with screws. And I don't know if they need them or if they come off of the back of the uh, back of the, um, the the bracket type thing that's on the back of the TV. So we'll take a look and we'll see. All right, boys, let's go. Essentially, now that it's off the bottom, yeah. we lift up and yeah. over. You ready? Yeah. Hold it here for a sec. Yeah. Move it. Can you lift it up? Mm -hmm. Bring it down to this. Okay, so now I'd like to bring it out there. Let me just fix the best real quick. Just come through the one area. Because I thought about putting the big one on the inside. It's not too heavy though. Out, so. All right, so I successfully got the legs on the TV, the big old TVs out here now. Look at the size difference between this one and the LG. It's actually unbelievable when they're next to each other. I feel like the video doesn't even do it justice, but. Here's what it's looking like in here right now. Eventually I'm gonna have to take these off the wall. These little uh, things I'm gonna have to take this off the wall. I'll probably end up taking these off the wall too and I'll probably end up filling them in, repainting this wall as well. We'll see how it goes once uh, once I'm done out in the new gaming room. But uh, I gotta get these HDMI cables out of here and start using them. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm just going to try to plug in as much as I can, leave the best is pulled out, try to plug in as much as I can, see if I can get everything plugged in using a couple power bars and see if I can get everything plugged into the TVs and then we'll go from there. Behind the Sony X90J is I had these Gobi lights with the little, uh, with the little camera, but I found that this camera was always falling off the TV always caused me issues, so I stopped using it. I kind of just put it back here, stuck it to the back and used just the light strips. It's not the best, but uh, I might uh, see how they're gonna look when uh, I have it set up in here. And if they're no good, then I'll just take off these light strips. Oh, 
Oh, that's right, I unplugged them. So I'm pretty sure right now I do want to have my PlayStation 5 and my Xbox Series X up on top of the Besta, kind of showcasing them. Um, might play around with it a little bit, but uh, that'll be where I start. So it'll be a little bit of a puzzle trying to uh, figure out how I'm gonna plug all this stuff in because this TV here has four HDMIs. Two are gonna be used for the Xbox Series X and the PS5 because uh, they use the 4K 120 and uh, VRR. So then those are the ports that require it. So I can put two more HDMIs in here without getting like a splitter or something like that. And then if we go over to the LG, uh, what's the LG got? The LG has three, yeah, three HDMIs on this one as well. So I can put three more in here. I can put the component adapter in here. Yeah, it's just gonna be a little bit of a puzzle trying to uh, figure out all this stuff, but I think it'll be okay. So essentially I'm left with two things left that I can plug into the X90J uh, with the HDMI. So I'm thinking about doing the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation 3. And I'm thinking about doing the PlayStation 3 because there's a lot of games on that console that I haven't played yet. And I'd like to play them on the, the best TV in this room. So what that means is I'll probably put the PS3 right here because I've already run the cables through it. And I'll put the Nintendo Switch right there and I don't even know if I need to have a whole dedicated area for that probably will but we'll see how it goes pretty good like the holes not too visible the cables are nice and tucked away I like it so then back here right now I'm just trying to find spots for this stuff I have a power bar there a power bar there and I have a power bar down there so just plug them in for now and not worry about the cable management just right now. I just want to see if everything will end up plugging in. The other thing I got to think about with this TV too is if I decide to get a sound bar and I want to, well, no. 
So yeah, I'll probably end up going with optical on this soundbar because if I use this one, well, I don't know, we'll have to see. I don't know, I have to look more into soundbars, but if I plug the soundbar into HDMI 3, then I lose for HDMI arc, then I lose uh, an input for the PlayStation 5. So I got some stuff to think about. This power bar is a little bit different too. I gotta download the app for it again, but uh, you just, you have to like turn it off. It hears music or sound. I'll turn it on. There we go, works great. Let's make sure the TV sees it. Beauty, beauty, beauty. So I talked about uh, picking this up as well on Amazon. It's just a component video selector. I'll switch around here. And it allows me to plug in three component consoles and output into one component. So uh, I'm just gonna open it up here and have a look and see what it looks like. And what I want to do is I want to plug it into the uh, LG and then I can start uh, having a good look at what things will look like plugged in over there as well. Well, yeah, it's actually a lot, a lot more like heavy than I thought it would be. Clean. So yeah, you got, uh, you know, one, two, three in. No, wait. Yeah. In, one, two. Okay, here's your out. Yeah, one, two, three in. And then your one out. If you can see that. And then on the front, it's got the nice selectors for it. So I'm going to uh, set this up now. I'm debating on where to put the selectors, you know, like if I put it like that, maybe. One of the other things I forgot to mention is uh, when I was out thrifting, I did find a component cable uh, for the components and I noticed that I think it was just the just the uh, video portion of it. So I also picked up uh, Some composite ones there just for the audio portion of the component selector. So we'll try them out make sure that they work. So there we go. And it's a quite, it's quite the uh, long component cable. So if I do need to move it around, I have options as well. Maybe, well, I thought about maybe putting it in one of the, one of the best areas, but uh, no, I'm not gonna go with that. Just means I would have to drill like a super huge hole in these. Just for testing purposes, uh, I'm gonna test out the original Xbox. So I just plugged that uh, component in. Let's get it all plugged in. Oop. All right, so I got the Xbox set up with a uh, component. Doesn't seem to be any issues or anything like that, so it's looking good. I also need to hook up the Wii with component and the PlayStation 2 with component, so that should fill up my component switcher for me. So here's my Nintendo component uh, cables, and my PlayStation 2 component cables. So there we go. 
go. I've got all my component uh, consoles plugged into this one switcher. Let's give them a try. Oh. So plug it in. This one will be a little bit harder to hide the cables, but I still think it looks pretty good. You look at it from a distance, you can't really tell. There we go. No issues with the Wii showing up either. Also, one of the big, uh, reasons I wanted to have two TVs out here is so I can run two Xboxes out here. So I'm gonna put my Xbox One X in here as well, hook it up to the LG, and uh, that way you can play multiplayer games on two different TVs. And if I really wanted to get wild with this Xbox One X, I could plug the the old connect into it too, but I won't go that far. I just gotta plug the HDMI cable. This is gonna be an issue too. I might get to need to get longer HDMI cables as well. Like I said, this is a 4K TV, but it's not uh, 4K HDR or anything like that, so. We won't be able to take full advantage of the Xbox One X, but it'll do the trick. There we go. Look at the size difference in these TVs. I, I you know, I'm pretty, uh, I'm tempted to look for some, another 65 inch in this room, I'm not gonna lie. It looks so much bigger in here. Okay, next up is uh, finding a spot for the VR headset. What I use is uh, this IKEA head, this little LED IKEA head there. And with this type of uh, head strap, that it's like a, they call it like Bob OVR or something like that. I don't really know exactly how to say it, but it's super comfortable. Um, it just fits perfectly on this. And this this headset is a, is a beast. Like it makes it so much, more comfortable to wear a Quest. And uh, I love the Quest 3, so I'm gonna put it right in here, I'm thinking. Just plop her right, right in there, like that. And uh, yeah, let's run some cables through. So really to have the Quest 3 plugged in, well, the light and the Quest 3 is I just gotta put this, this one in here. Just like that. And I had it earlier. Oh, here it is. Just a simple USB-C cable. That's what the, uh, that's what the Quest takes. Like I said, I'm not looking for, uh, cable management right now. I'm gonna do that after. I just wanna make sure I can get everything plugged in. So. There we go. This, uh, this headset also has a battery pack on the back, which extends, well, the battery for the, uh, the Quest 3, because the Quest 3 only lasts for about couple hours. There we go. The other thing I should mention too is, while I have this Xbox in here, I also have, um, and I did a video on it years ago, of uh, an Xbox that I found for $3.99 while thrifting. So I picked up this Xbox the other day, Valley Village, and uh, said it was for parts only, so I figured, you know what, for $3.99, I'll see if I can get this thing working. Booted into, uh, looks like an NES emulator there. 
a whole bunch of games on there already on the hard drive and it's been completely modded so it has n64 games on it super nintendo games uh regular nintendo games and i can just ftp new roms over to that xbox at any point so if i really wanted to play an n64 game in here honestly i could just honestly just swap out the xbox and play them on that one of the things i got to check with the wii and maybe maybe somebody knows in the comments um can you just get it to automatically start up in a gamecube game that way i would be able to avoid needing two sensor bars like i wouldn't need to have a sensor bar for the wii u and i wouldn't need to have a sensor bar for the wii because if i just put a gamecube game in there and it boots right up then i i'm, I'm good to go because really all i'm going to use that wii for is for gamecube games The Wii Motion Plus uh, nunchuck and Wii Remote. We put that with the Wii U for now. One of the other things I thought about doing in this room is uh, now that I got a couple empty areas, is maybe putting a basket of uh, controllers and uh, keeping them out here. I got to test out a couple of these. It's like a third party knockoff PS3 controller. And then I have like a really beat up, gross PS3 controller that I need to test out as well. The other thing that I have that I got while thrifting at one point, I've never used, is um, the PlayStation 3 Move set. In terms of the webcam, I have the little uh, you know Wii Remote thing that they also came out with after the fact. So maybe I'll uh, try this out. I definitely have a couple games that will work with this. I don't know if this stuff needs to be plugged in, we'll see, but uh, it's, I'm gonna put it out and see if uh, I can find a home for it. So I'm just setting up the old uh, PlayStation 3. This one doesn't want to boot up at all, so I feel like, unless I need to charge it a bit, this one is like one of the gross ones that I got with a PlayStation 3 at one point. It's pretty beat up. Like the battery might just be dead, but you'd think if the battery was dead, it would still power up, right? I, I'm not 100% sure. Just for shits and giggles, I'm going to try a different cable. I'm going to try this. I know this controller works. I've used it with uh, my other PlayStation 3. This PlayStation 3 actually came from my in-laws. I, uh, I upgraded them to a PlayStation 4 for uh, watching Blu-rays and stuff like that. They wanted something a little bit faster. They thought, felt like the PS3 was getting a little slow and I was like, I'll take it off your hands. This one's working no problem. Connected right up. So I don't know why, maybe this one needs a proper cable. Let's try. Yeah, that's all it needed. So that's one of the downsides to the PlayStation 3, I find, is like it needs to have a specific cable, like one of the mini USB cables. It needs to be the right one or else it's not gonna work. It's kind of annoying. All right. So, oh. mess with the gimbal there. Bring you back. So we know this one's working. Um, I gotta set myself. I gotta set my account up on this one. I'll be back. And sometimes you just forget how like janky and slow the PlayStation Three store was. Three just snoozing away. It's still loading. Oh my god. I can't even back out. There we go. I don't even know why I loaded into this by accident. I, sh I shouldn't have. But yeah, it's just so slow back in the day. So right now, guys, I'm just kind of just chilling, just trying out all the consoles. Um, I got the... Let's play set up. I got the uh, Xbox Series XL set up, and uh, right now I'm just setting up the PlayStation 3, just getting my uh, account set up because I honestly, I never set myself up on this uh, console before. Uh, I'm using the better looking PS3. I was, for my PS3, I always had the top loader one and uh, it's pretty cheap looking. And uh, so now that the in-laws have given me this uh, this awesome PS3, 
I can have it set up out here and it, it looks so much better and it's so much quieter too. Um, it's so much quieter than that top loaded one, that's for sure. So just setting that up. Hi, Logie. What you doing? What you doing over here? Hmm? This is the reality of playing video games. Half the time, the pups are getting in the way. I can't even see anything on the TV. They like their cuddles. I, uh... I wouldn't be happy if I didn't give it a try. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put the Xbox Series X into one of these spots, the PlayStation 5 into one of those spots, just see how it looks, you know, and see if uh, clearing out some of this space on top will make it look better. Maybe there, there's, these are spots where I can put my headsets and uh, things like that. So I'm gonna try to put them in the best, to see how they look, and then I'll decide. So in order to do that, what I'm gonna do actually is put the Xbox Series X right here, the PS5 right here, probably move the PS3 over here and move the Switch over here. And if I gotta take out the Dreamcast, then I gotta take out the Dreamcast, not the end of the world. I've never, I've never really run the Xbox on its side like that. It just looks so much different. So putting it in there kind of, you know, frees up this spot. Allows me maybe to put a headset right here or some other accessory. I kind of like it. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like it. Now let's try out the PS5 and I've never put the PS5 on its side either. So it'll be interesting. The PS5 is a little bit different because PS5, you gotta like unscrew the the little thing down here. Let's see, I might have to actually get a little screwdriver and you kind of like turn it or something. I, I can't quite remember how to put it on its side. So don't be surprised if I need to Google it. Yeah, I don't quite remember how. I think you twist it or turn it or something. And that's how it goes on its side, maybe like that. It sits in there, perhaps. I'll probably have it upside down. It's embarrassing, but I'm gonna have to Google it. Hey guys. You know it's hilarious so when you need to watch a video so just to put your PlayStation on its side. All right, well. There it is, I feel like that's good enough. Right there on its, on its side now, the next PlayStation 5, I'm gonna plug that in, and uh, it's gonna bitch at me for unplugging it improperly, but let's see if it works. I don't know if I'm supposed to do something with this screw. I probably should have watched all of Buddy's video. Clearly not putting it in there. That's hilarious how some of the, the, some of the designs that Sony can get away with. Cables are tucked away for now. That doesn't look too bad. That does not look too bad. It's gonna be mad at us. Oh, wait. I gotta plug it in, just like the Xbox. Now it should automatically switch over if I press this. There we go. Yeah, told you, it's mad at us. Now a good way to test out if there's any issues with the 4K 120 is I'll just boot up Fortnite. Oh, never mind, it has a big old update. So now that I've freed up this area, I could bring this over here. Maybe have that in the corner. Maybe put that like right there. Also toyed with the idea of maybe putting this Xbox light 
you know, maybe like right there, but I feel like that might just get in the way just a little bit too much. I'm one of those people that if, if like something's even cutting off like the slightest little part of my TV, then I don't like it. So that's looking a little busy at the moment. You know, I thought about up here, I was gonna get rid of all the statues, which I probably still will. And I was gonna come up with a solution where I could have this Xbox light here, you know, the, the PlayStation light down there. But this TV is bigger than I thought in here. So when I'm sitting down, you know, you're not even gonna see that, that window over there. So I have to come up with a different plan at some point. What's going on today, guys? Uh, pretty much got everything booted up on the Bestas and the TVs. Um, now I just gotta move on to cable management. So I'm gonna work on the cable management. I'm going to get that all tidied up. Hopefully we can push the Bestas back. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, right now I just got the regular TV going, but uh, both TVs are working fine. I got this sweet, sweet little component selector down here for uh, my Xbox and my PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 2 and my Nintendo Wii. So yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the, uh, the end result in this room. I think that uh, we'll be seeing some good progress today. <laughs> the blue uh, headset is wrong off. Yeah. Or. Like, that's what they all sync up together. We're flashing. <laughs> Back to the <pack> default. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> you still get a little bit of light behind it. From the strap? Yeah. 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 We're in the end game now. Yeah. 